They look beefy enough to be a power rail. So does that. So does that. Probably a motor though. Ooh, is there any motor drivers? Not that I can see. What is that? Ah, uh, internal USB. Oh. Right, we all look how cool this is. There are individual little tubes coming all the way along there. On a flexible arm that has a pivot. Is that spring loaded? I think so. Let's go into the head, which I presume moves back and forward to print. Each of the colours it probably mixes it under there too. We'll have to find out. That will be the ribbon cable coming to this stuff. That will control which of the heating elements and there heats up to release a drop of ink. I would assume it's probably data and then it's probably a heavier duty thing for heating elements. Maybe. Don't know. Which bit moves? I wonder what that's for as well. I wonder if this is a rotary encoder to tell the position. Potentially. Doesn't look totally clear. This bit here I'm very interested in getting inside. As well as, I believe that must be a waste tank or something. I presume that's inky. Um, things worth keeping here would be these tiny wires, because small wires always come in handy. So I'll add that to the small wires box. And then potentially the Z rods and stuff, but we'll have to have a look. This whole mechanism here looks to come out. But to be frank, I don't want anything to do with it. Come on. Should I take that apart? I probably shouldn't. It doesn't do this. Ooh, inky. I'm starting to look like a Coldplay album. Um, very interesting. Inside of this, you have what look like little encoders, which I'm not going to keep because they're inky, as well as the tube ends, which then just follow up. I don't know how it's pumped. It must be pumped down that end. Or inside, maybe. Actually, where are the ink cartridges? I didn't look at them before I threw them out. But very curious. Oh, God. All right, some brute force later. It moved. And that slides between that, so I believe that's some sort of position. In here we've got that. Ooh, ooh. actually, I reckon that's paper that's jammed. Interesting. Um, as well as, I presume that's to clean the nozzles, maybe, or maybe this is. I don't know what that is actually. Inky. Um. And then whatever slides here, if that comes off, it does. Somewhat. Hmm. One moment. So I'm going to take a guess that is the printing sensor there. So you've got heaps of tiny porous holes um, that heat up and drop a little bit of ink out. What this stuff's for, I'm not quite sure. Looks like it's getting deposited in here. And then interesting with this, Brings back and forth. I assume to come up to come in contact with the head and then retract when it's not. Very curious what that is. Um, don't know what that is either. Uh, I wonder if I can get inside of that. This feels like a bad idea, but I want to know where these ink tubes go. Yeah, and I've done any screw I've seen. So we have a motor. This mechanism looked like it came out. So what? New. Although it is now independent. How is this coming out? Attach the rest of it. To get new gloves, too compromised to continue. But there was a screw in that. That's now out. What's left? Main power. Ooh, power supply is probably under that. 
another drainage tank. So they had a cleaning nozzle at this end. And that. Mm. Nice motor. And mit Mitsumi. Mitsumi. We'll have a look at that at some point. Maybe let's get this big piece of chat plastic out of it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I reckon that's the power supply. Let's get to that. Oh, it's coming. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. Now that is a heap of junk. What have we got? Mains input here. Is that got a choke on it? Or what is that? Cap? I think it's just a choke. Very compact and very poorly shielded. But that's okay. And indeed there is a wire coming off it. Not as much. Not like thick gauge like I was expecting. Um, typical switch mode. Earth, crimped, nice, filter cap, I wonder what that is, it must be a transistor. Alright, so just some more filtering. Oh, there's your opto isolator. Which means the chip will be somewhere there. Potentially on the back. And there's your switching transistor. Very, very basic. Power supply is out. Um, anything worth keeping? Yeah, that and probably C14. The rest of this is garbage. Anyway, uh, so oh no, so isolated. Where is our main chip? I don't see one. So how is this switching? Do not understand. Okay, you might have to look at that closer later. I also, unless that's the bridge rectifier, there it's not. Unless they've got a discrete bridge rectifier, which could be possible, but I find this curious. We will look at that later. We'll put that aside. All right. Well. Top of that came off. Uh, these ribbons just go to some sort of interface board here. Yeah, probably hasn't got a chip on it. Um, it just goes to that, as well as has some sort of like uh, actually looks like an encoder there, but it has a sort of distance. It's probably not distance, just close nearby sensor. Um, interesting. And there's some sort of vacuum film that I can see fluid in when I press it. And I guess that is the mixer, as well as some of it going to this head here. Oh my word. Um, do I want to know what's behind that? I'm curious how it mixes. The, well, actually, maybe it doesn't mix the colours and it just dispenses multiple colours in a bank. Hmm. This is a bad idea. Alright, well, that is sort of a chamber for depositing it, for depositing it into these four slots here. Oh my god, you can see it vanishing because it's soaking into that. Um, and I presume mixing happens in the head. Um, controlled by that ribbon and whatever else is there. Uh, I'm not going to go any further with that. And oh my word, I think it's time for everything to go in the bin. But, um, interesting. I wonder why they have to have that assembly to put stuff there. I'm not sure. Now, inside this assembly here, we had some sort of rubber bit with this panel on top. And then two little ports that have come out following around the side to what looks like a pump of some sort. And that rotates as well. So I'm going to presume that sort of cleans the head... Ooh, that is a cute button. I'm taking that. Um, and 
dumps it in that big tank of stuff we saw before on um, compromised. Um, so yeah, I'm not actually quite sure if that does the pumping for all of it, or if it's done in the cartridges, or how it's done. I really like these tubes though, I'm not going to keep them. But um, yes, I presume they clean the heads as well. So maybe it wipes off excess, takes it away, and then cleans the heads there somehow. Now inside this thing that I said was the pump, we have the four slots plus one main one, and then interestingly, sort of dividing bits on that, so maybe to control the flow. So maybe instead that controls what's going where, instead of pumping. Who knows? It's getting messy. So that just controls the direction of paper and stuff. Just had a motor in it, which I've removed. And if uh, if you're removing a motor, take the screws as well, because you never find them the same thread. Right, we have a rotary encoder again on a wheel. Um, interesting way of doing it. It would be very accurate and cheap. So you can see why they've done it, but otherwise there's nothing on this. Hello. Ooh. Yeah, not much in this one. Just the scanner element. Um, and massive Z rod, which I will take. Automatic belt tensioner, well. Ooh, and a bit of pancake motor. We have to remove that and spine out. <laughs> uh, is the glass worth keeping? Maybe not. Looks like it's just an adhesive in the actually glass. Don't know. Well, it is glass. It is out. I'll recycle it. This, however. Woo! <laughs> what have we got? Woo! Look at that. Oh, that's nice. A Mishu Mishu. A Mishu. We'll keep that one. I don't know what it is. Stepper? Looks like a stepper. Not covered in ink either. Um, as for this, oh, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Hmm. Well, funny that. Does this have the light on board? It must do. So I'm guessing one of those is a sensor and one of them's a light. Maybe we should take that apart for the rest of this though. Junk. Haven't looked at it, but I'm kind of expecting LEDs. No. Where's the light come from then? Am I blind? Well, that looks like one massive strip of silicon, which I guess is the imaging set. Oh! Ooh. Mm. I reckon that's our LED shining into that light bar there, and that's what creates the light. That's an interesting LED package, if it is what I think it is. But yes, it looks like one big strip some sort of, as one imaging sensor and then it shines the light in from the side. Beautiful.